Alongside Chris Welsh, I'm Jim Day. Thanks so much for joining us for Reds baseball. Final two weeks of the season, Chris. Expanded playoffs here in 2020. You got a bunch of teams that are grouped together. A lot can happen in two weeks. Well, you know, it's really worthwhile baseball right now. I mean, compelling baseball every night. Now it's beginning to watch the scoreboard a little bit. There's a lot at stake here for a lot of teams. There's eight teams really out there that are going to be in the midst of things. And the Pirates and I are not one of them. But I can tell you that what you start doing is looking at your schedule. Where do you have to go next? Well, the Reds have four here against the Pirates. They've got to make some hay. And then the White Sox, Brewers, and Twins, those guys are a different story. Reds come home with some momentum. It's not often that we say coming off of a series win against the Cardinals. That's what it is. And yesterday, not only did the offense wake up, it was a bit of an offensive explosion. Well, you know, haven't we been waiting for this kind of thing like over and over again? Every time you see a couple of home runs hit, you say, okay, that's the catalyst that's going to get this ball club going. And anytime you score 10 runs, well, maybe that is the catalyst. They look much more relaxed at the plate uh, against the Cardinals in this series. Uh, they were able to get a couple of good breaks like that ball falling in front of the left fielder. But overall, I think, you know, you're waiting for an offensive explosion to continue on and on. This will be a good opportunity for here with the Pirates in town. In game one, the ball goes to Trevor Bauer. What else can we say about this guy? He's been terrific. The numbers back it up. I mean, he's dominant. Uh, he dominates from a strikeout standpoint. He, he gets very bad contact from hitters. He uh, basically embarrasses hitters with his breaking pitches. He's so good. And, you know, he's going to go out there and he's going to give every intense effort to win a ball game. And that's what the Reds need him to do. And I think that's why David Bell has him in the first game today. Win the National League Cy Young Award. Yeah, really, if you, if you want to break it down, Jim, I think that Trevor Bauer has a three-way push going on right now. One is to propel his team into the postseason, and he can have a lot to do with that if he pitches like he has lately uh, from here on out. Number two, he's a free agent at the end of the year, so he's got that going for him. A lot of teams are looking at Bauer. They're slicing and dicing him as many ways as they can to find out if this guy's worth big money next year. And, of course, the third way you just mentioned, he's in that conversation with about two or three other pitchers around National League that are in that Cy Young talk. Second, opponent's hitting just 155. That is tops in the National League. Here's the lineup he'll face brought to you by Jeff Weiler Automotive. Eric Gonzalez will lead off at shortstop. Frazier, Key Brian Hayes has been hot. Colin Moran at first base. Josh Bell also swinging a hot bat. Then it's Reynolds Newman, Cole Tucker, and behind the plate, John Ryan Murphy. All right, some late afternoon baseball. First of two as Trevor Bauer typically will psych himself up just like that not only before the game but before every half inning that he pitches. Gonzalez in the box Bauer into his windup and we are underway a fastball up. Our lineup brought to you by Jeff Weiler Automotive Akiyama will lead off Castellanos Vado Suarez Moustakis the Punisher Sinzel his first game back Barnhart and Jose Garcia. Giyama in the box as the Reds will get another look at big righty Cody Ponce. He's into his windup in the first pitch to Shogo. He pitched earlier this season against the Reds. Didn't do all that badly. Went four innings, gave up three runs. Two of those came on a first.